men don't fall in love through sex. Men can have sex with anyone. They can just go on a dating app and there'll be like a hundred women waiting to have sex with them. It, they don't fall in love through sex. They fall in love through an emotional connection that is built upon a woman that they believe and they perceive as high value. They perceive meaning that when they are with this woman or this woman exudes a certain level of confidence and this woman is rare, that is the woman that they start falling in love with. Women that give their bodies away before men have earned their hurt and proven their commitment are extremely low value to quality men and are not women that men will fight for. When you sleep with a man before he's earned any sort of commitment from you, and I'm talking about like a high value masculine energy man, he is not going to value you and treat you the way that you innately in your hurt seek to be treated, right? Masculine energy men and men that are conscious, so they're not operating from their egoic needs anymore, will not commit to women that are cheap or easy to get. When you are giving your body away, you are acting and behaving as a very insecure, cheap woman. Women that value themselves will not sleep with men. They just won't sleep with men until and unless that man has earned their body. And this is a woman that a man will fight for and a man will do anything to be with because he knows that this woman is very rare. It's extremely rare to find a woman that is not going to give her body away to a man and it's going to pace a relationship and also not put a man on a pedestal. And that type of woman is a woman that is worth fighting for. If you want to attract a man that is um, at a higher level of consciousness. So what does this mean? This means that Yes, a man can be masculine in his energy, but he could be functioning from his lower egoic aspects. A man that is primarily an ego is going to make a lot of mistakes in his life because he's not functioning from a higher part of himself. He's functioning from a lower part of himself. So that part of himself is very insecure and he's seeking a lot of validation from other people, unbeknownst to him, because again, this is unconscious. That's not the type of man that you also, as a high value woman, want to give your body to or you want to marry. You want to marry a man that values your strength. You want a man that values and appreciates that you want to take your time in selecting him. And men that are more mature in their masculinity and more developed in their masculinity are not going to get angry with a woman that is going to delay sex and delay intimacy. So long as it's coming from a genuine place, and this is where the inner work comes in, you can't bypass the inner work. Consciousness expands when there's inner work that's being done. When you don't do your inner work, you're coming from ego and you're coming from low self-worth. So you can't fake this. I can tell you all the strategies and I can tell you that also when you sleep with men prematurely, they're going to lose interest in you because you're not a challenge. You're so easy. But so what? You can fake that. But again, healthy men know when you are doing something because it's who you are and it's genuine and authentic versus if you're playing games. Healthy men know when a woman is playing hard to get because she's doing it out of games. And so there has to be this authenticity component. And the authenticity component comes when you examine yourself and you do your inner work. This is why my inner workforce, that's 19 modules. I have a bonus dating class. That dating class alone can be valued at hundreds and hundreds of dollars. I can see who is actually serious about their inner work because I can see who's purchasing it. If you don't do your inner work, and by the way, my courses are not superficial because I teach a very deep level. And yes, it is true that a man is going to feel more emotionally attracted to you if you delay intimacy, you delay sex, you delay any sort of physical component because men do fall in love when there's an aspect of them winning you over, which I state in every video of mine. And they need to be the one to pursue you. But this has to come from a genuine place. You have to feel good about yourself as a woman. You, you have to feel you are worthy of a commitment. You have to really deep down treasure your body and who you are. It can't come from a place of games because when it's coming from a place of games, men know men are very intuitive, masculine energy men. So the healthy men are intuitive. And so the messages I send, it resonates with them because they know deep down that yes, this is how I feel, even if they can't put the words to it. An unhealthier man is not going to say that and he'll be triggered because he's coming from his ego. So he's not integrated. He's not even uh, coming from a higher aspect of himself. When you sleep with men prematurely, you are giving them an ego fix. And depending on what stage a man is in his masculinity and what stage he's in his life, 
he's not necessarily going to want that in a wife and in someone he commits to. Oftentimes, men that are like not developed in their masculinity, if they've been surrounded by women that don't tell them the truth, they have mothers that coddle them, it's just the worst. These men have a heightened sense of self. You can give a man an ego boost by sleeping with him prematurely, but healthy men are not going to find that you are a desirable woman because they want a woman that sparks some sort of challenge within them. So you can sleep with a man and you can try to uh, evoke his ego. And this is what leaning back and all these strategies are. But if it's not coming from a genuine place, you're not going to attract the right person because who you are is what attracts everything to you. So if you're a woman that is an ego playing superficial games, you're going to attract an egoic man. And that's just the truth of, truth of it. Quality men want to be with a woman that has a high regard for who she is and knows who she is. And they know that they can trust her, meaning she's not going to give her body away to just any man. And when a man meets a woman that is so prepared to give herself away to him, he subconsciously thinks, if she's doing this with me, she's doing this with other men. If he's coming from a place of ego, from a low self-worth place within himself, he's insecure and he's not looking at the situation properly. So he's just looking to be validated. Now, men that have mothers that coddle them, that don't tell them the truth, are going to look for women that are more masculine in their nature. This is subconscious and women that give themselves away. They're going to be attracted to that unconsciously. Why? Because there's an aspect of their mother there. If a man um, is used to having a mother coddle him, not tell him the truth, stroke his ego, the women that he's going to attract until he's done his inner work and he has a greater sense of awareness are women that also mirror these qualities. So women that give themselves away, put him on a pedestal. And these are the women that he's going to attract. He's going to attract low quality women because his mother gave him the baseline for who he should be as a man. When a man has gone through this phase in his life and he's realized that this is not what I want and he develops in his masculinity because he's had several ego deaths and what he thought he wanted is actually not what he wanted. He's going to actually look for something completely different in his life. And those men have started to develop in their consciousness. Those men are more in their divinity, so their divine masculine, and they're going to look for a woman that's more in her divine feminine. So a woman that is in her divine feminine will never give herself away to a man that has not earned it. And this type of woman looks to see how strong a man is and tests him subconsciously in many different ways. I get into this in Secrets of the Feminine Woman. A woman that is more secure in who she is going to look for a man to wait. And she's going to test this patient. She wants to see how strong is he? Is he able to wait for her? Is he able to be patient? Can he see her? Can he really see who she is? And does he like who she is? Or is he just around for her body? An immature man is not going to think this way because an immature man is very much functioning from his ego so he's functioning from the lower aspects of himself and he's looking to just get his needs met right so these type of men are going to be very upset when you don't want to have sex with them and that's fine you can just say bye to them uh, if you're a higher value woman you're going to have many types of men be interested in you and the toxic masculine man is a man that really comes on strong but he's doing it because there's an outcome orientation there. Same with the toxic feminine woman. She's a manipulator. He's not um, authentic in who she is. So if she is overly nice or pursuing or aggressive or anything like that, like I always say, just because a woman wears lipstick and has high heels on, that doesn't make a woman feminine. <laughs> a woman that is feminine, it's her energy, it's her essence, it's her purity, it's her truth and authenticity. This is what a feminine woman is. Truly, it's light. So a feminine woman is encompassed in light and it's true. And so a higher consciousness man is going to look subconsciously for a woman like this. And when you sleep with a man, you are signaling that you are extremely cheap and you are extremely low value. And a man that is higher in consciousness is not going to want that. This is why these men will often stay single and will date for years and years because they've not found their match because women don't want to do their inner work. I can see who's purchasing the inner workforce. I can see who's purchasing what product of mine. And most women are interested in the superficial work and that's fine. But what I can say to you is if you don't do your inner work, you are never going to move up in your levels of consciousness because you can't do that until you've done 
um, a certain level of work on yourself. And there are men all around. You don't have to be on a dating app. You don't have to do anything to attract men to you when you are a high value feminine woman because men and opportunities, experiences will just be attracted to you because you attract what you are. Your beingness attracts what you are. When you are coming from a lower egoic place within your soul, you are doing to get. So you're putting a lot of work in to get your desires. You're not functioning from who you really are because when you're functioning from your divine feminine, you don't really need to do much to attract everything to you. The more that you engage a man's ego, the less likely he's going to fall in love with you truly because again, um, at a strategic level, men desire a challenge and men want to be with someone that invokes a certain level of worth and they want a woman that they know is harder to get, is not going to just sleep with anyone and that they can trust. Men really value loyalty and really value trust. And this is something that as they get older, they put more value in. As a man matures in his masculinity, he's going to value loyalty because he knows that a woman that is loyal is not someone that is just going to spread her legs for everyone. She knows she places a high value on herself. And so men, when they meet a woman like this and quality men are not going to be deterred by that. In fact, they're going to be very much attracted to women that take their time in getting to know him. And it's going to heighten their emotional attraction to you. And when a man is emotionally attracted to a woman, that's when he feels close, close to her. And that is when the intimacy starts to form, when there's more of an emotional connection, that is when a man really starts to fall in love. If they have egoic relationships when they're younger, they've not matured in their consciousness level. Anytime you are functioning life from your ego, you are making mistakes in your life and you're going to lose things because heart-centered people and people that are operating their life from a higher level of consciousness do not make decisions based on their ego. They don't make decisions based on fear. They make decisions based on the truth and authenticity. And they're gravitated towards that. Men that are more grounded in who they are do not make decisions based on temporary moment-to-moment -moment satisfaction. These men are strong in who they are and they're able to delay certain levels of gratification for the long-term gain. They don't look for the moment to satisfy them. That's very ego. Instead, they look at winning something over and they look at the long-term gain of being with a woman that is not going to just give herself away to someone because this is a woman that is going to be loyal. This is a woman that's going to be a good wife. This is a woman that unconsciously later on, he can feel that, wow, like I had to earn her. And that gives them a certain level of satisfaction and it makes them feel good about themselves. And again, if you want to be a high value woman, do the inner work course. That's a go through the modules. My courses are extremely deep. My work is deep. It is not superficial. It is not for everyone. But if you really want to be a high value woman and a high value woman is a woman that men want to be with. It is not a woman that just fuels out content. It, it's not content. It is a way of being. Men want to be with a certain type of woman. It's not content. You have to actually do the inner work to become that woman. There's no quick fixes. Fixes don't last. So get the inner work course. Get Secrets of the Feminine Woman. And once you've done that, get what men want. And um, if you want to speak with me personally, you can book a call with me or you can send me an email question and I'm happy to help you out in any way I can. See you on the next one.